Hi all. Today we will do the transformation in Formica. In our earlier video, we have gone through the definition of Todd Pulitzer transformation in in Formica and a sample example uh, of a Todd Pulitzer transformation with a normal property where the producer returns a single value for each and every input row. And the producer will be executed for that row and returns the value and that we loaded in the target table. Now uh, we will see another example where the store producer returns a table and loading the table data into our output table. So it is it is also under the same property normal store producer type. For this, uh, I will take few. Uh, I will take a store producer. So here, this is the store procedure that I have created in Adventures Verse database. Here, for the store procedure, I am giving the product ID as an input. This product ID I am getting from products table. I will show you the products table data in production schema production dot product. So in our informatica mapping, I will take this product ID from this production dot product table. And I will pass this product ID to our store procedure as an input. This is a variable product ID as an input variable. And from this, I am look up. I am look up this product ID with sales order detail table in Adventure Verse database. We will see the data of this table now. Here for each and every product ID. I will get sales order ID, this column, and sales order detail ID, and carry the tracking number. I will get these three values for each and every product ID from products table. Okay, so for this, I will build a mapping now. Uh, for that, I, I prepared a store procedure. This is a store procedure uh, in Adventure Verse database. It takes product ID as an input, and the to return a table, nothing but to return multiple values. From a store procedure, where the seller statement returns those values. If you see here, uh, the sales order ID, order ID is an output variable, and detail ID is also an output variable, and carrier checking is also an output variable. I have taken the output variables for this procedure, and the input is product ID. Based on the product ID, the procedure assigns uh, sales order ID, sales order detail ID, and carrier checking number values to these variables, and the procedure. returns these three variables for each and every input product ready and i will load these three values into our target table here the target table is uh, this one see so the detail ready in target database so this is the target database in this database i created a table so it has three columns okay now i will create a mapping so already uh, i have all the sources in my informatica so this is the product source from sources product it is from the production schema and adventure was database the product okay uh, and the next is the target so this is the target i have sales order id detail id and carrier tracking number now we'll create a workflow for this in for mapping for this thing uh, in the mapping designer in the mapping i'm creating a new mapping m underscore return table I will give you a service called uh, M underscore SQL. Okay. I will take this source. I will drag this into Mapping Designer. So our input is a simple product ID, and I will create a store procedure transformation from the transformation import from the store procedure. So here the procedure is there in Adventure Verse database. I will connect it. Connect to the Adventure Verse database. Uh, DB was schema function. Sales is our procedure name. Okay. Here uh, in value we'll see the properties. Four. So all these are output variables. Okay. And I will take the target. now i will take this product id as input to this procedure and i will take these three to this target 
our source file file should be in production schema now i will create a session and workflow for this in informatica workflow designer in the task developer i am creating a new task the session s underscore m underscore sp underscore return table i am associating this to our mapping that we created then now i will set the connections in the mapping tab under connections property so the relational target uh, sales order detail is a target it should be pointed to our target database and the source product id is adventure database and the source connection value is uh, adventures and the target connection value would be target and the connection sales the function it exists in the adventure database okay so these are the connections we need uh, just classic source is the adventures sales are the detail is the target and sales is again adventures okay now uh, in the workflow designer we will we'll create a new workflow w underscore sp underscore return table okay now i will take this session into here and i will join these two using a line task now i will execute this workflow so here oh it got failed we'll see what happens and such for another here uh, this is this was uh, as expected earlier if you see our source is there in our products a uh, production schema of adventure database so by seeing this error it could not identify the object as it is uh, other schema we should especially mention the schema name i will mention the schema name now i will take a override query uh, generate sql production production dot product i'm validating it over the filter okay i'm saving the mapping i will refresh the workflow session refresh mapping now i will run the workflow again now it succeeded you can see the session log so target table uh here there are few errors database errors uh and row to in bad file let execution fail mean for few of the records uh, our session our mapping could not process the records into target table those records automatically moved into bad bad file uh, you all know where the bad file is right now uh, we will see the records whether do you have any records in the target table we have few set of records in the target table for each and every product 266 records now we will see the data in the bad file so so this is a bad file we have if you see the path informatica 9.0.1 server info shared bad file so this is the bad file we can see so these are all the bad records those could not be processed in our informatica mapping and moved into bad file so corresponding uh, error logs error messages we have seen in our informatica session log thank you we will see uh, more about these uh, errors and bad files uh, records in the bad file in our next recordings thank you